Another thing I'd like to show in this video is something called the Law of Iterated Expectations. So, suppose that you want to know the expectation of y. We have a formula for the expectation of y, but the trouble is you don't know the marginal probability of y. Let's get an expression for this density of y. Now we know from a previous video that if we want to get the, uh, the density of y from the joint density of x and y, all we need to do is integrate out x and from the joint density, and that will give us the density of y. So this integral is an expression for the density of y. So we could, if we wanted to, we could put that integral in there. We're not going to do that yet. Instead, we need to recognize that we can always express this joint density as the product of a conditional density times the marginal for which we're conditioning it. Let's condition on x. So conditioning on x, we get the conditional distribution of y given x times the marginal distribution of x. That's the joint distribution. We can go ahead and plug that in there. Now let's use this aside, this f of y equals this integral, and just go ahead and plug in for that integral there. So that's what we've done, is this black part of, the, of this expression is just the marginal PDF of y, and we're just expressing it in some complicated fashion. Uh, don't worry, this is going to give us a really useful formula. So next thing that we want to do is we want to exchange integration, order of integration. So we're going to bring the dy inside, and we're going to bring the dx outside. Notice we have to keep the y's inside of the dy's, and keep the x's inside of the dx's. Now something very useful just happened here, and to see what happened here, what, what we can do is we can emphasize this with some brackets. Inside of those brackets is the conditional expectation of y given x. And outside of those brackets is just taking the expectation of this function of x, so all we're doing is we're taking the expectation of this, this is just some function of x, we're taking that expectation. This is a result known as the law of iterated expectations. You might not know anything about the unconditional expectation of y. You might know something about the conditional expectation of y given x. If you know something about that, and you know something about the marginal PDF of, of x, then you can compute this integral first, and then just compute the uh, expectation on the outside with respect to the marginal PDF of x. No need to know anything about the marginal of y. And in fact, you sort of backed your way into understanding what the expectation of y really is. Imagine that you know that the expectation of y given x is zero, but you don't really know anything about the expectation of y. Then what you can do is you can actually compute the expectation of y given this assumption. Don't know the expectation of y, but I can sure do the iterated expectations trick. I know what's on the inside of this is zero, and I don't really care what the density is for x now because I know that I'm integrating something that's always zero. It's a constant and that's going to be equal to zero. We're, we're going to use a lot of statements that look like this. Conditional expectations. We'll know quite a bit about conditional expectations in econometrics. and We'll be able to make some assumptions about conditional expectations. But we won't know one iota about unconditional expectations except for this law of iterated expectations allows us to link the two. And if we know something about the, uh, the conditional expectation being equal to zero, we can then extend that to the unconditional expectation being equal to zero. And that's going to be a really useful trick. This is something that you'll see again and again, um, and you'll, you'll get used to one of, this is one of the great tricks of econometrics that we love to use because we like to think in terms of conditional expectations, in terms of like how we actually operate and what our assumptions are, um, but sometimes we like to make statements about unconditional expectations and to bring it into that world we need to use an iterated expectation technique.